But to be fair, I never stop and ask for directions either. But that's because it would be a complete waste of time for everybody because I've got an auditory disorder where I can't actually hear directions properly. (laughs) Like, I can see your face and I know that what's coming out probably makes perfectly good sense and sounds like this. Oh, yeah, it's easy. Just go down to the second set of lights, turn right, go to the roundabout, third exit, it's the fourth street down. Got it? But what I hear is, oh yeah, it's easy. Go down to the second set of lights. (laughs) Got it? (laughs) There's only... There's only two ways to give a woman like me directions. Right? The first way is give me directions the way a woman gives directions, right? which means you need to have your hands out. Okay, because you might need to tell someone that they have to veer. <laughs> and in order to explain veering, you have to show it because it's, it's, it's not a turn, right? You're not asking them to turn right, you're saying just veer, just veer right. So you need your hands out. And then to give directions like a woman, you do it like this. You go, okay, let me think, let me think. Oh, oh, I've got it. Yeah, okay. Okay, listen. Go down to the next set of lights and you'll see a big furniture shop on the corner. It's got really lovely stuff in it. There's like a 10-seater table. There's a matching buffet. There's this really beautiful vertical mirror. Actually, no, there isn't. That got sold last Wednesday. Don't look for the mirror. That's gone. Anyway, it's beautiful stuff. It's lovely. Okay, so don't turn there. Go past that. But probably the best way, you've got to make sure a woman like me is looking and listening. So I need two senses on the go and you've got to speak slowly, right? So you go like this. Okay, look, listen. Go down to the next set of lights. Then ask someone else. (laughs) You're welcome. Just one step at a time, we'll get there.